All right, so this thing comes to my house today. I knew it was coming. I actually had to call UPS and ask them to come back because it was sent with a delivery, um, you know, a signature required. And you know, I'm just like barely home ever. And I tried um, UPS My Choice to get that to change. Tori's in, in, the, in the picture. Hey, Tori, what's going on, honey? And let's see what else, how this thing looks. It's been wrapped up. Guy had to make, make a box for it. But it looks like, oh, well, I got a little corner damage in the box here, but I don't see the item. I, I kind of see the item in here a little bit, but I'm hoping that the item didn't take any damage. So this thing got shipped up from, I don't know where the heck it was, Maryland? Something like that, but let's start opening this thing up. Oh, 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 there's, there's Misty, Misty and Tordy, they might, ah, they're gonna go the separate way. As you can see, it's clearly Italian. Um, and yeah, it's not really a box. I believe the, the shipper had to make a box for it because he could not get, um, couldn't get double wall, like the particular box size he needed in half. So he was able to get, I forget what you call this stuff. They work for a place where they use this type of um, material to package stuff. And he was able to make kind of like a dummy second um, second layer. Like kind of some Real expert job unboxing here. <laughs> do this. Do this. Do it. iPhone 13. All right. So it looks like this stuff is really helping to cushion the item inside. So take a take another look. Okie dokie. So I was able to gingerly, gingerly with a utility knife, take the cardboard off and this other material, which I forget the name of it. He did tell me what it was. You know, I was able to kind of hold the cardboard away from it so as to not you know go all the way through the tape and what have you and end up damaging the item inside and they really did a great job some pumps and some of you might already guess what this might be a long sucker isn't it and the weight on the package said 88 pounds i'm like oh my god because uh it's about 11 pounds heavier than this thing is supposed to be it's, it's heavy. It's heavy. But we're going to see. Uh -huh. Bring this off. And there we go. This is a D12D. We'll talk about that in a minute. But look, look at those separate ports. Cool. I should mention that before we go into everything else, that um, I mentioned that I was mostly concerned about the grill taking a hit. And so the person that shipped it to me was, was kind enough and, and clever enough to cut out this piece and exactly fit it over the grill of the unit, which I think is pretty darn impressive. But all this stuff here too, you know, considering the the weight of a box like this, the fact that it's ungainly and likely to be abused by shippers because they're kind of not really happy about having to cart this thing around, especially, you know, it's, that's why I had to put the fragile labels on it. But the potential for damage, even though this thing is a very robust unit, was high. And so far I'm not seeing any damage in the box itself. It looked pretty good already yeah the one thing i should have talked to the seller about but didn't um as i noticed in the pictures you can see here pretty well i think that looked like at some point something sticky got spilled on the front of this thing and you can see that the grill itself has some some sticky marks on it you can see it really well here and i'm just you know i was, I was kind of worried if any of that actually got on the drivers and i don't think you can see this here but it looks like there's definitely some spots where whatever it is you know because people people are want to put <laughs> items on top of amplifiers and amplifiers vibrate quite a bit um and things like this can happen and you know i you know i, I a teetotaler haven't drank in many many years but uh you know still i'll put diet coke or something on there um so i try not to anyhow but it looks like Looks like there's a little teeny bit on the driver, but it doesn't, doesn't look like they got soaked or anything like that. It looks like some kind of sticky uh, material. Uh, so as long as, as, long as Tordy isn't actually trying to, if she's playing with that, that's fine. I think that's awesome. Uh, but I have to cover my cabinets up because cats. Anyhow. Anyhow, got the sucker downstairs. And here it is on top of the standard cabinets I have. The cabinets I've had for a long time. The two S15s and two S12s. And this sucker is big. And no, in case you're wondering, it was not easy to put it up there. <laughs> I don't want to do that again. So this thing is nominally 77 pounds. I think this particular one might be closer to 80, which is sad, but it is what it is. 
Uh, I forget off the top of my head what the weights on these suckers are, but I can tell you my two S15 cabinets, one of them is definitely heavier than the other uh, by a noticeable amount. So I think it just you know varies depending on the wood they had that day and all that kind of good junk. Um, the stickiness on this thing, I, was, I washed it off a little bit, but um, I believe a lot of it's on the inside of those little circles, the little, little teeny things on the cabinet. So I'm probably just going to take this off and like wash it, you know, rinse it, and then uh, put it back on. It should be fine. Um, interest, and it costs, I want to take a look at the speakers and see just how much of that group is actually on them. Um, it doesn't look very bad. It doesn't look like they got, you know, damaged as such. So we'll see whether I do anything about that or not, or, you know, other than being cosmetic. I don't really believe that's an issue. So I haven't plugged this thing in and tried it yet, so that's the next step. But, uh, yeah, this is a big sucker. And why did I get this thing? Well, I was, uh... Really saving my pennies to get uh, a Mesa Subway like 212 or 215 because I wanted to have one cabinet that I could bring to gigs. And those are both expensive and light and hard to get right now. Huge demand for them. And so I got this thing for half the price of what I could get uh, a 212 for, uh, Mesa 212, and, and you know, not quite a third of the price of what I get a 215 for. Uh, the downside is it's heavy, and I was looking for a, a single cabinet that I could bring to gigs, and so I'm going to see how well this sucker performs. You know, uh, I don't think I've taken 212s out on the gig. I've taken them to lots of practices, and always just kind of wondered if I should bring a 15 along as well. I might actually take this sucker out in another 12, and only plug the other 12 in if I feel like I'm really not making it. But uh, these are really cool cabinets. I love the way their 12s sound. I've, I've wanted to, like, have four 12s for a long time because it's a very aggressive tone. And so, well, now I do. So we're going to see how this, uh, this actually works for me in, uh, in the real world. So that's, that's the unboxing. The end. Well, unfortunately, it looks like we run into a snag with the bag and cabinet, and that is it's got one heck of a buzz. Either one or both of the drivers is uh, blown. <laughs> bareface because I wanted to make sure it wasn't uh, the you know, battery in the base or something like that or the amp. And so for comparison, here's our bareface. That's just the, the cabin I had up here. I really didn't want to drag the bag ends back upstairs. Get a little chopping noise out of this sucker, but not, it's not a buzz. And that, these things are definitely buzzing. going on with these suckers and hopefully i'll give this guy a shout and hopefully we can do something about this and uh get him replaced or repaired or something that's disappointing <laughs>